Okay. I'm going to show you my famous um, burgers. <laughs> it looks like a face. Look at that. A nose, a lips. But this is dark. Beef. Uh, it's not beef. It's This is mutton. And this one is... Uh, this one... The reason why you're going to mix the seed, you, you can tell the difference. Mutton is a little darker. And um, add in beef because it has a little fatty and the um, the mutton is pretty lean and you can have that grind either in a, a butcher shop that's the story or, or we have our own we have our own um, grinder meat grinder you mix it up like that so if, if you just do the the burgers along I mean the mutton along it, it, it's just going to be thick because it's, it doesn't have a, I have a cut in there it's not fatty so you do this to the same um, um, to the same. Um, we do this to a venison too, a venison burger, because they're really lean and there's no on there and, and it doesn't fry that good. But mix it up real good. And what we're gonna do is um, add some um, spices. Put it in. So I can mix it. These are pre chopped uh, onions right here. Add that in there. As much as you want. I love onions. It gives it flavor too. Mix that all up. And also add the. Um, Seasoning. Seasoning. Which is, let's see. I like this one. Cowboy seasoning rub. I don't like the whole, um, add a whole lot of seasoning. Just, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And, and, and also, um, what you can add too is jalapenos. And we're not going to put that in there because a lot of people, um, don't like don't like jalapeno. I I like it because I like the flavor. So mix it all pretty good in there. And this one over here, <laughs> this one over here is for meche. Don't want to put nothing in there. Okay, mix that up really good. Get all that. Get all that seasoning in there. And um, it's um, it'll give it a taste. Kind of like adding adding um, yeast to bread. Just let it permeate the whole the whole batch, the onions and. Um, Onions, like I said, you can put chop um, jalapenos in there too, or whatever you want to add in there to give it flavor. So, I'm not too much of a cheese eater when it comes to burgers. A lot of people like cheese, and also the, what we're gonna use is um, um, I, I try not to eat a whole lot of fried bread because of it's really unhealthy. <laughs> it tastes good, but I like to use um, tortillas, which we'll probably make some too. Mix it up and then make your own, make your own patties. Okay, now you got the um, skillet here, and this one's my cheese burger right here. No seasoning, no onions, just straight burger. Got my little camping lamp lantern on. This is a battery, battery operated. Gives out pretty good, pretty good light.
Mm, good day, huh? Good day. And the last one. Okay, there you go. Some original mutton burgers. I guess you could call it the original original um, Nauhu burgers. With some mutton meat in there. Let them sizzle. There is the tortilla. Like I said earlier, I'm not against fried bread or anything, but I like tortillas better than... At one point, I, I eliminated bread from my diet. It really does make a difference when you're uh, um, getting fit. So That's just my opinion. Don't, don't take it to... Uh, I'll take it to the bank. Okay. I just flipped them over. It's kind of hard to um, hold the camera and uh, and uh, try to do the video. A little windy tonight, breezy, as you can see. Hey, don't know what it's made but it sure smells like mutton cooking. Mmm, mmm, check on the kitchen there. Tortillas, three. There you go. I just took them out. I'm not a fancy cook. I didn't say I was, but I eat. I, I like what I eat. <laughs> I like what I cook. So that will be ready. Mm. Ooh, it's hot. One more tortilla there. And again, the cat lamp comes in handy. Now you can see better. Now who burgers. Jalapenos, Alexa, and fries, tortillas. This bag of potatoes is. You imagine that in a 50 pound bag. Costs $6 at Nappy. Real good Navajo grown potatoes. <laughs> 